to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout aloud, Amen, Asaba. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every spirit that is at the back of any infirmity in your body, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command that spirit to live now. We command that spirit to live now. Therefore, I decree and declare, be healed in Jesus' name. I bring life to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood disease here represented, be healed in the name of Jesus. Eye conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing someone in your right ear. In the name of Jesus, I command whether total deafness or partial deafness, let that ear be unstopped and open now. Bone conditions, whether you're here on crutches, a wheelchair, or having all and any kind of bone condition, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've had this for a very long time. Very pounding headache. Looks like migraine. It will come and go and when it comes, you almost cannot do anything. You can even almost fall on the floor. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost is touching you now. Touching you now. Every growth in your body, lumps in the breast, fibroids, and all kinds of growths in any part of your body. Help those under the anointing. In the name that is above all names, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. My God, I send such a strong anointing. Be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is someone you have problems with your kidney. In the name that is above all names, You've been having the pain you think is appendicitis at the right side of your lower abdominal region. And I'm seeing that this is something that is, is like a kidney problem, but at, at, at its infancy. This is what the Lord is showing me. In any case, I decree and declare brand new kidneys for you now. There's someone you don't see well. You are not blind. But you don't see well at all. In fact, from where you are, you're unable to see the stage and the LEDs very clearly. Place your hand on your eyes. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare clarity of vision right now. And for every blind eye, partial or complete, eyes be opened now in Jesus' name. Someone you have... Uh, there's something around your groin area here like a lymph node but it has remained there for a very long time and it has refused to go right now in the name of Jesus it disappears from your body heart problem I declare healing right now in the name of Jesus there's someone here your elder sister has a son who is autistic the power of God is touching that boy right now we rebuke that that sign and that trace of autism in the marvelous name of Christ. Pile, painful pile. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. The issue of blood, it comes under judgment now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ even though I'm praying for the sick the Lord is just ministering someone's case for me there is an acute manifestation of disfavor in your life to the point that even your own family people are not willing to help you I don't know who that person is but the power of God is coming on you right now as I'm speaking and the Lord is saying it was an attack a programming of darkness over your life it's not as though you are an evil person this is a demonic embargo upon you I don't know where that person is but I, I just saw fire just into this auditorium wherever you are in the name of Jesus and by the prophetic I remove that embargo from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ help them that's right in the name of Jesus Christ my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by someone you have your rib your rib area severe pain in fact you cannot lie down facing the bed you have to just lie down at the side or lie down facing up because there's there's severe pain around your rib right now the power of the holy spirit is touching you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone you can't do this with your fingers i don't know what the problem is but there, there's been severe pain and discomfort right now the power of god is touching you and he's bringing life he's bringing healing in the name of Jesus now don't be embarrassed I'm praying and I'm seeing in my vision there is someone you are not it's not lack of hygiene but I don't know it looks like um severe mouth odor this has embarrassed you those very close to you have even encouraged you to do something you've done all you know to do I think it is it, like you've even seen a, a dentist to just look at everything and find out what is going there there's a pungent smell that just comes out of your mouth you've done your best you've brushed you've done everything and it looks like it's not going right now in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone you have I think a sister or a relative in the United Kingdom that person is very sick right now in UK very very sick and if we do not pray I see that that person may not make it but in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the author of life himself we knock on the door of life for their sake by reason of this conference may the Lord preserve them even those who are appointed unto death in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus Christ back pain back pain like severe back pain around the lumbar area here the power of God is touching someone in Jesus name the Lord is also showing me someone your hands begin to shake this is not shaking under the anointing your hands just begin to shake like someone who has Parkinson's you're a young person but your hand begins to shake and it looks like shock in your body you know how sometimes you lie down on one side of your body and when you wake up you have to stretch for blood to flow there's someone like that you don't have to lie down but you feel that shock that pain the power of God is touching you right now there is a gentleman here your uncle is suffering from prostrate prostrate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever he is let the power of God right from this auditorium through the airwaves may it touch your uncle wherever he is in the name of Jesus now whether I mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare be healed right now some of you whilst you fell under the anointing and you came out God was doing something marvelous in your life now in the name of Jesus I want you to check yourself let us bring glory to the name of the Lord very quickly before we get into the prayer and the anointing you are here and you see that the power of God has touched you before during and after this prayer very quickly and very boldly I want you to leave your seat as we clap for them make your way to any of the people in front here people are coming are you celebrating what Jesus is doing don't be afraid celebrate them as they come check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please come quickly Lord you reign 
and you rule over all. Let's celebrate them as they come, my God. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. this is happening everyone please bring out your prayer request right now right about now please bring out your prayer request and here's what i want you to do for me whilst we're taking a few testimonies please pastors just attend let's take a few notable ones and then we'll do a general prayer for sake of time now here's what i want you to do please everyone lift your prayer request there should be an officer or someone by your side now please hand over the prayer request to the last person by the aisle let's do it from maybe my right to my left or whichever direction nobody's reading your prayer request just hand it over to whoever is at the side so that the ushers ushers please walk around very quickly walk around very quickly and collect the prayer requests everyone please quickly you don't need an envelope just write it on a piece of paper and you submit it and if you are yet to write one you have a minute or two to write very quickly or perhaps you wrote a few requests but you there were still some more that you wanted to write now is your chance release your faith because in the name of Jesus, everything written there will come for you as a testimony. Are we together? Are we ready to take a few testimonies? Go ahead, very quickly. Yes, sir. Go ahead, quickly, quickly. Apostle, Apostle sir, this is um, Ubunaya. It was the case you mentioned about short-sightedness. Short-sightedness. Yes, it was, um, the, the screen were very blurry, but as of now, he can see very How well. How long has this been, my friend? Over four years. Over four years. Yes, sir. And right now you can see clearly. Very clearly sir. Come on, Asaba. Are you giving Jesus praise? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I declare your healing remains permanent in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Very quickly. Apostle, this is very notable. When you were ministry, you mentioned somebody who had a problem with the ear. Yes. So this lady came up and said, for, so, for some time now, her ear has been blocked. She intended to go to the hospital tomorrow to go and flush the ear. But why you mentioned her case, she felt a my goodness. sensation on her ear and now she can And right now, it's ear. open. How long has this been, my dear? Do you I know? I it last year. Okay. I went to hospital events. Then came back and then it came back now. Yes. And right now it's open. Yes, sir. May everything that has been closed, that should not be closed over your destiny, the same God that opened the ears of this our dear sister, may he open everything that needs to be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you, my dear. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Very quickly. Yes, please. Oh, so this is Jeremiah. He was the one you mentioned about Parkinson's disease while you were praying. Parkinson's? Yes, sir. And you're a young man. What happened to you? I had an attack about 2011. Okay. Yes, I was just in the room 31st night and it was like, um, I have my mother like a... Okay, like, like stroke. Yes. And, and then from that time, yes, your hand yes. and right now, it's gone. gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Let's take some from here. Yes. Someone help her with the mic, please. Is it working? Or you want to use my own mic? Technical people? Yes. Help us with the mic. Yes, go ahead. Praise the Lord. She said for 17 years she has had a problem with retaining urine, but in the course of the 17 program, years? Care of. Retaining urine? Yes. What does that mean? She cannot hold urine for any, any length of time. Oh, she has dear. To rush during the course of now, the you look at this kind of embarrassment to a precious daughter of Abraham like this. Did you know what it means to not be able to retain urine? It means you can be embarrassed as a woman. Now put, put yourself in the shoe of this lady as a woman. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And right now, what happened to her? She's fine. Said in the course of the program, she has not had cause to urinate at all. Wow. In the name of Jesus, my dear, 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, this embarrassment, this reproach leaves you now and leaves you forever in Jesus' name. Let's bless the Lord for her. Yes, please, very quickly. She said she had problem with focus and in the course of the prayers, she felt that something left her ear and an arrow left her back. Also. With focus? Yes. Distraction is a wicked spirit. The Bible says if your eye be single, then your body will be full of light. The moment you are double-minded, the Bible says of such a man, let that man not think that he will receive anything from the Lord. In the name of Jesus, stability to your life, stability to your mind, stability to your focus. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please, go ahead. This lady says she had back pain, severe back pain before now, but in the course of the prayers, the back pain has disappeared. For how long, my dear? How long has this been? For a month now, sir. Complete. No pain again. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Turn around. Left, right. Any pain? No, Are you celebrating Jesus as In Jesus' name, back pain never returns to you again. Amen. Yes, please. Go ahead. Are you ready? Hold the mic. Please help us technical. Do we have or do you need to take my own mic? Praise the Lord. Okay, yes. He said he has been having ulcer and partial blindness, but in the course of the prayer, the partial blindness has Partial been blindness. Oh dear, look at him. What's your name? Israel. Israel. Yes. The one with the promise and the covenant. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Partial blindness and what else? Ulcer. Ulcer. You're too young for ulcer. I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. I declare that they both leave you and grant you access to liberty and peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do we have someone helping them with a the mic here? Oh dear. Technical, can you help us with one more mic? Please, so that we can make this pass. Okay, let's just take a few. Yes, sir, Apostle, this, this young man said he was severely sick from yesterday that prevented him from coming for the program. But um, the cause of the program, God healed him. Okay, completely. How long? What, well, was, wrong, you, what was wrong with you? I don't know. It was after some school activities. Okay, you just began to feel yes, sick. Sir. In the name of Jesus, perfection comes for you and remains with you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please, quickly. Okay, Emeka, sir. Um, he said he's, he was having severe back pain, but during the course of the program, God healed him. In the name of Jesus, perfection for back pain in the mighty... Go she ahead. Go ahead and let's now. see, she my God. Let the fingers now. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ... This miracle is true for you. It remains with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. This lady said she came in here with a severe pain by the side of her ribs. And I remember you mentioned the case of somebody who had severe pain on the yes. side of her ribs. After is that pregnancy? Yes, sir. Are you pregnant? Give her the mic. I'm not pregnant, sir. Oh, my God. What is that? Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, sir. They couldn't detect anything. They Are you like saying this? Please don't be embarrassed. Come. Look at this. This is a woman that it almost looks like she's nine months pregnant. I think one time in Abuja, we prayed over a woman who had been pregnant for two years. Some of you were there. Two years. You are not pregnant. For 16 years, sir. For 16 years. Three, three years. For three, three years. Madam, look at me. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. What is this? Have you gone to the hospital? Don't cry. What did the doctor say? He said it's arthritis. Arthritis? Massive water. But they couldn't flush it out. They couldn't flush it out. I've been in FMC for more than one year. Going there every day. You've but done what? They couldn't trust anything. She has been in the hospital for more than one oh year. Oh my going God. And coming. If this was the only reason why we held the miracle service tonight. I can't, I can't begin to put myself. Oh dear. This woman looks nine months pregnant. Am I right on that? I thought she was pregnant. I wanted to bless the baby and say safe delivery. And now the devil, this is supposed to be like, so she goes for draining and it comes back, goes for, do you know what it means to live your life like that? You see, sometimes when people see that we do these kinds of things, 
Most times people think we are just wasting time. But you need to put yourself in the shoes of people who are at the back end of these miracles. Look at this dear woman now. Reminds me of the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she had spent all her earnings. She was not a lazy woman. She was just confronted with a situation. And many of you, God is showing you this. And he's using this situation to plant a burden in you. That you must continue to grow in this grace. Because you cannot wait for a conference like this. For people like this to be touched. What if this woman had died before this conference? Madam, do you believe in miracles? Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Ah. Father, in the presence of your people here in Asaba, the spirit that is back of this, look what is happening to her. Are you looking at her hands? If you've never seen a miracle, watch one. In the name of Jesus, look at this. I command now, the spirit that is back of this. Out now. Out. The name of Jesus. Let her go. Release her destiny. In the name of Jesus. Let this woman have the opportunity to live a normal life. And to serve the purposes of the kingdom. And we not only pray healing, we pray restoration for every one naira and every one dollar that she spent in the hospital. So shall it be that you will stand someday upon this hallowed altar and you will give God thanks because there will be no retention of water whatsoever. In Jesus name I pray. Let's give Jesus praise for her. Yes, please. Very quickly. Apostle, when sir. we have, let me know when we are done. Please still wave your prayer requests. We are doing that very quickly. How many of you are yet to submit? Ushers, are you doing that? Please, let's have it in front very quickly, please. Um, protocol, Victor, help them. Let's, let's, let's walk this. If there are still people, please very quickly wave it if you are yet to submit yours so that the ushers will have it. Ushers, when you have it, let's collate it and have it in front here very, very, very quickly. We have to be fast. Yes, please. Apostle, sir, this is good news. Good Seth, news. He has had toothache for over 10 years. 10 years? What happened to you? I, I don't know where it came from. Okay. It just started like Just that. discomfort now. Yes. And now? Because it's appeared. Completely. Yes. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, healing and perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, do you have a mic there? Okay, go ahead. Praise the Lord. This young man has had migraine headache for over four years and in the course of the prayer, the migraine disappeared. Migraine gone. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. The lady behind is the one with the word when you said that there's somebody that cannot hold her hands. She can do that perfectly now. Right she now. Go she ahead. Has a problem with her eyes, Jesus. And that is also healed in the her name eyes. of Jesus. Yes. Marvelous. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, my dear. Never returns to you again. Yes, please. This woman says she has had she has always had problem with her voice box that she cannot sing. She cannot raise her voice box. Yes. How but long, my dear? Since 2019, December, after I did my first album launching. It's Your started. voice went. Yes, sir. Oh dear. Can't sing more than five minutes, it will just go off. Sing something, let the devil hear you sing. Hallelujah. You are the power that raised Jesus from the dead. You are the power that gave sight to the blind to see. You are the power that gave legs to the crippled to walk. You are, you are, you are, you are so great. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. My dear, not only has God restored your voice box, we anoint you. Go back and continue from where you stopped. May the nation hear the sounds of your worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please, very quickly. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yes, Apostle. Um, this this man here said he's not been able to he doesn't he doesn't swallow his spit anytime he does that 
you um, can't swallow. Yes, it, it feels a lot of pain around this place. And I was, I was asking if it was something like um, um, other pains around yes, here. Yes. He, said, he said no name was given after he visited hospitals and all that. But once, once you swallow, you have severe pain. Yes, yes, and right sir. now. And the object was moving up and down. And right now. Yes, sir. But ah. after the prayer, I believe that the hand of God is upon me. I see the hand of God on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. This young man here says he has been suffering from severe ulcer. He was trying to call Cononia Line to meet up with you. But he said he went for endoscopy one of the time and he had a dream. And in the dream, you asked him to come. So he began to look for your schedules to know which of the program you've been. Oh, he said dear. he just came in from Oka for this program. Why he came in, he came with the. You're pain. just coming in from Oka. Oh my God. He came with the pain so heavy, but as you began ministering, he couldn't find And the right pain. now, check yourself. You see what the faith of the Son of God does. He comes all the way from Oka with faith in his heart. And now he's gone. Listen, may the Lord bless you. Not only would you receive this miracle, I pray that the favor of God will speak over your life. In the name of Jesus. For sake of time, let's see how we can just take three or four and then very quickly, I'll bless all of the people so we can go to pray for this because the anointing, we want to do that fast and I want everybody to be part of and partake of this. Hallelujah. Um, let's see how we can put a structure so that I'm not sure these bowls will be enough. I don't know how we'll do it. If the bowls are not enough, we'll just use a bottle of oil. So let's work on this so that we'll make it really very... Yes. That has defiled all kind of signs. He's a medical practitioner. Yes, the doctor. Oh. So he knows what he's saying, doctor. Into it. Complete it. healing right now. Thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. He had that condition. And right now? He's gone. Before now, he said he saw you in the revelation where you prayed for him. So he had to travel all the way from Benin to attend this program. And as you mentioned the case, everything disappeared. I've got the message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and leave. In Jesus' name, I declare the Lord preserves you, my friend. You will go back into a realm of favor. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. This young lady said she came in here tonight with a very severe pain. She couldn't do anything. She couldn't sit well. She couldn't stand well. But after the prayer, she noticed that her severe pain had disappeared. Completely, completely. gone. She could bend down now. She even bent down the, the back the name of now. the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you, my dear, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. She said she woke up yesterday morning and she began to feel a very severe pain underneath her breast region. She said okay. the pain was so much and so heavy. When she came in tonight, she couldn't do so much because of the pain. But why you began to mean is that she felt a heat sensation and everything That's right. disappeared. And it's gone now completely in the name of Jesus. Now for sake of time, I want you to stretch your hands to all these people who have been healed from the left and the right, speak over their lives while declaring perfection as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is someone praying? Some of you, whilst you are praying, you are sowing a seed for this kind of experience in your own ministry. Go ahead and declare. In the name of Jesus, we choose to say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
we declare perfection in the name of Jesus Christ perfection in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you let's give them a great God bless you and um, you can always feel free to testify in your various your local assemblies please do feel free to share your testimonies the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ how many of you are ready to receive testimonies please rise up on your feet if you can I want you to stretch your hands here praying upon the altar there's no religiosity or ritual around it this is an expression of your faith the Bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come I love to pray over requests like this because your prayer request is the most accurate expression of your desire and the Bible says in Mark 11 and verse 24 it says verily verily I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it so it's an act of faith you have written this please let's have some more if you are still yet to submit yours and those who are following from across the globe whether or not you are able to submit your prayer request online stretch your hands as an expression of your faith as we pray hallelujah our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name oh our father hear us from heaven forgive our sins we pray one more time our father who art in heaven hallowed be this is the confidence that we have in him that when we ask anything that is in accordance to his will he heareth us stretch your hands in one moment and I want you to begin to prophesy that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever go ahead I'm going to be kneeling down you can stand and pray I bow my knees and I will pray there is the covenant of answered prayer go ahead and pray pray in one minute are you declaring even by the spirit of the living God? Shabrende ge de balaka tuska di brandi galaka suzia bahashia. Shabrende ge baruza zieke teba. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name that is above all names, we decree, we prophesy, we declare. Someone is praying. You are asking the Lord to bring miracles, answers. Shabrande ke baka tuska di brande ke dikata la basiya. La kras ke di bas shada gata brande ke tebele ke tus. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream, and they said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for us. He says the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. And then he says turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Someone is praying. Arise, O God, in your majesty. Arise, O God, in your power. Go ahead and pray. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, mending broken hearts, I worship you.
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. Bowing my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That every request written here. That has mocked the name of the Lord. Over your life, your family and your destiny. In the name of Jesus. May that request be turned into your testimony now. May that request be turned to your testimony now. Hear me. Every human agent that must be in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for answers to this prayer, we compel them to partner with the Holy Spirit now. And any man who says over his dead body for these prayers to be answered, may God answer their prayers. In the name of Jesus, Asaba, I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus Christ, Egyptians of delay, Egyptians of joblessness, Egyptians of pain and shame and disgrace and embarrassment, you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, some of you have written impossible things here that only God can answer in the name that is above all names. May the Lord not only answer you, may he answer you speedily. And every spirit that is behind the pain written here, every spirit that is behind the shame written here, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare that that spirit loses his hold over your life loses his hold over your ministry loses his hold over your family loses its hold over your christian experience over your business in the name of jesus and prophetically i stand upon this prayer request and i decree and declare the same way i'm standing upon it everything that has risen above your head i bring it down to your feet now in the name of jesus christ You've taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. You have taken all limitations. You've taken all disappointments. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the King. I give you worship, worship. The highest praise to the King. I give you worship. Worship the highest praise to the King. You have taken all my tears. You have taken all my pain. You have taken all my shame. You have taken all limitations. You have made them yours. I want you to be patient. Now listen please everyone. Just listen to this instruction. We have two more things and we're done. Thank you for your patience. This is a very prophetic moment that we're stepping into now. Please do not be distracted. Be very discerning. Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me, he was already looking at him. Some of you, you have seen this thing in your dreams and your visions. You've seen, you've seen expressions of this thing. Now God is giving you a chance to partake of grace that will change your life and will shift you into another man now here's what we're going to do for the sake of time listen carefully you don't have to pour i know some of you came with bottles of oil don't worry i'll pray and speak over it for you but for now i don't know i hope this oil will work all i want you to do Okay, now um, I'm told that there is a limitation here and for the sake of time that here's what will happen. I will pray and speak over your life, but then there will be people, since all of us have only about three or four doors, what will happen is when I am done praying, okay, and we wrap up everything, 
there will be someone standing at the doors with the oil. Is that fine? So that whilst you are going out, you just touch just on your head and your hand. Your head is symbol of your glory. Your hand is symbol of your productivity. And then you walk out. Will that be fine? It will help us conserve time. But in the name of Jesus, I bless these oils and I decree and declare that they no longer be ordinary oils. If you have a bottle of oil or you came with a point of contact, lift it up now. I want to speak over it prophetically. In the name that is above all names, I lay my hands upon this oil as a prophetic point of contact to whatever it is that you are lifting. Whether your documents, whether some point of contact, in the name of Jesus, it becomes an instrument of fire from today. Believe it. In the name that is above all names, I decree and I prophesy over your life. That bottle of oil you are holding in the name of Jesus, empowered by the word of God and by the spirit of God. Let it be used as an instrument to work wonders in your life. From tonight, it becomes a mantle in your hand. Wherewith you will wrought signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to make declarations over your life and I want you to receive it. Every door that has been closed over your destiny. Right now, I decree and declare Asaba. You have received me as touching the grace that God has given. Therefore, in Jesus' name, every closed door be open now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Whatever has left your life that should not have gone. Relationships. Help them please. My goodness. You don't have to bring them out. Just help them. Everything that has left your life that should not have left. The Bible says they are taken for a prey. And none say yet restore. I decree and I prophesy by the hand of God. Between now and December 31st. I speak to you in Jesus name. Let there be strange and speedy restoration. Strange and speedy restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are some of you here the Lord spoke to you from January and said he's sending people into your life to hold your hands and lift you. But this is November. You have not seen anyone show up. Let me prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak to the north of Asaba. I speak to the south, the east and the west. I blow a shofar like Gideon and everybody who must show up to hold your hand and help you wherever they are. I command them to appear in your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For many of you who have been receiving this proverb, Ichabod, that the glory has departed from your life. For those of you who it looks like your yesterday is better than your today. You only have memories of what God did yesterday. You don't seem to have memories of what God is doing now. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may you begin to sing a new song after this conference. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still praying for you. Jeremiah 51. Please give it to us from verse 50. We're discussing dominion. He says, Thou art my battle axe. Do we still have Midian? And my weapons of war. Thou art my battle axe. And that you are also my weapons of war. Please when you go back home read it. Isaiah. Okay we have it here. Jeremiah. 51. Did I get that right? Verse 20. Not 50. 51 verse 20. We are reading the first three verses. Thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war. Say Amen. amen. It says, with thee I will break in pieces the nations. With thee I will destroy kingdoms. With thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. I will break in pieces the chariots and his rider. With thee I will break in pieces man and woman. Young and old. With thee I will break in pieces your young man and the maid. I will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. I will break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. 
I will break in pieces captains and rulers. That means everything God wants to do, you are that battle axe. Therefore, from tonight, the grace and the unction required for you to begin to walk in this level of dominion, may it land upon your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19, very quickly. Behold, Asaba, I give you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over how many? How many? All the powers of the enemy and it leaves you with an assurance that nothing shall by any means hurt you. Whether the means of the air, whether the means of the sea, whether the means of the earth, whether the means of land. Therefore I declare from tonight manifest dominion over principalities and powers dominion over causes dominion over yokes dominion over enchantment you rise above them all in the name of Jesus Connected to bloodline, connected to ancestry, connected to the ill speakings of men. By reason of this dominion mandate upon you, in the name of Jesus, number one, be free from their influence. Hear me? From this conference, I release you as that deliverer that mama has been praying for. I release you as that deliverer that your father has been praying for. I release you as the answer to the prayers that the people in your region have been saying, Lord, will you not raise someone for us? Become the answer to their prayers in the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Help them, help them, help them. Master, we have toiled all night. There are some of you who have toiled and toiled. Ministry is not working. Business is not working. Family is not working. In the name of Jesus, I place an anointing on your destiny tonight. Everything that has refused to work in your life, go back now and see it working. The Bible says, and I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to gainsay nor resist. The kind of wisdom that will elevate you and place you in a position of influence even for the sake of the kingdom I release that wisdom upon you now hear me anyone here who is trusting God for a job you came here and you are saying apostle I have been waiting for so long I have applied for jobs I'm not irresponsible I agree with you between now and the next three months in the name of Jesus the name that is above all names may the Lord give you an honorable job and all those who are in business here lift your hands I prophesy and I declare over you whatever it is that is making you have losses making you go down you love the Lord but it looks like doors are not opening I speak to the doors of your business Ephata, open hither and tither in the name of Jesus Christ. And to live, to deliver them who have been appointed unto death. Please hear me. If there is anyone here that your name has been written in the realm of the spirit, that you are not crossing over into 2022, whether for you or your family members, whoever takes any pit for you, that person fall into it every power that wants to cut short your life whether through accident through a plane crash crash through terrorism through whatever means in the name that is above all names you are escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone here who is in ministry. You are a co-laborer in the gospel. You are a, whether an 
intercessory ministry, an evangelical ministry, a prayer ministry, an apostolic ministry, if you're running a church-based ministry, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For many of you today, tomorrow is Sunday. As you mount your altar, fire from that altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. As about hear me. Anyone who has mocked God in your life and have said you are a Christian without proofs that there is nothing in your life that brings glory to the name of the Lord. This night, by prophecy, we change that narrative over your life. Hallelujah. And for all those who are part of the in-gathering family, in the name that is above all names, let me have Pastor Ike and his wife, let me anoint and bless you one more time. Hallelujah. For the entire in-gathering family, I decree and I declare over your lives. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, I speak to you. Go from glory to glory to glory in the name of Jesus. And every other ministry here represented, you see, because we are sent to the body of Christ. The days of local champion Christianity, the days of celebrity Christianity is over. God is working with his body. More than our individual progress, we must focus on what God is doing with the larger body. So by extension, I pray for everyone who names the name of Christ bearing the light of the gospel within this city. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may the Lord strengthen your hand. May the Lord strengthen that which he has put under your care. Hear me. I want you to love the Lord if you're a minister of the gospel, no matter how small or no matter how great. Be inspired, be challenged, but do not let anyone despise what God is doing through you. Don't put yourself under any pressure for competition. Within the level of the grace allocated and within the dimensions of your faithfulness, serve God in truth. When you see results, don't despise it. Honor it sincerely, but not to the detriment of your own grace because you are also anointed. It is when we stand before God, we'll know those who are at the cutting edge of what he sent them to do. And for us that God has shown mercy and has helped whether with anointing or influence, we must be wise and loving enough to extend our hands to everybody. Are we together now? Whether it is a church with two people, whether it's a prayer group with 10 people or a ministry with thousands together, we're a united family lifting up the banner of the name of Jesus. So all this petty jealousy, competition, backbiting, it says, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. I acted like a child. But now that I'm a man, he said, I lay aside these childish things. There remain these three, the Bible says, faith that moves mountains. Hope that makes not a shame and love. He says, but the greatest of them is love. The zenith of your transformation is not knowledge. It is love. Never use anything God has given you, whether power and influence, whether prophetic grace, the gifts of the spirit, or intelligence and access to the spirit of revelation, understanding into scripture. Do not allow any investment of the spirit in your life to be a basis for pride and mockery. Are we together now? I'm saying this because many of you look up to our lives and it's important when you are learning, you learn well. Don't learn pride. Don't learn pride whatsoever. Honor people. It does not take away the grace that God has given you. And many of us who see greatness and ignore it, it's not a wise choice you are making. When people are deserving through their sacrifices of alignment, they deserve the grace that, that should be accorded. Priesthood has an honor that is demanded for. Are we together now? And within the boundary of scripture, accord the honor to those that rule well accordingly. Don't see Pastor Ike and his wife and demean them and say, oh, they are not doing anything. It's just luck. No. The spirit of sarcasm, the spirit of hatred, the spirit of backbiting, competition. The Bible says they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. It is God's desire that we mature as a people and wean ourselves from some of these 
this these activities of the flesh most times we weave it into our christian experience and we make it look like it's the holy ghost that is making us behave that way no no by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you preach well not when you prophesy well there are times that men of God try to reach me and sometimes when they come you see the extent of intimidation it's as if they are standing before Jesus Christ and I tell them listen my dear ones you see me like this I am a product of God's mercy and grace you see that now it's when we stand before God when we stand before the Lord Jesus Christ you would think some of us will be the ones who lead the way you will be surprised to see those who will be in front one quiet intercessor who is not on TV who are not the Joshua Selmans. They are the ones who are deeply doing great things with God. You must sustain that humility. Do not abuse the loyalty and the confidence that people have towards you as a man of God. Do not use ministry as an occasion to bully, manipulate, and oppress people. Do ministry with integrity and truthfulness. And do not be ashamed to allow your humanity find expression. You are a man. You are just of God. You get hungry. You get sad. If you do something wrong, apologize. If you do something wrong, right, glorify Jesus. Are we together now? If you are tired, sleep. If you are hungry, eat. You are a man. You are just a man of God. Are we together? It's important that when we come into a land like this, we caution people because here and there we have different shades of, of models. And sometimes, respectfully speaking, some of us swallow everything hook, line, and sinker. And we are becoming something that is not an accurate portrait of what God wants us to be. All of this flesh, all of this pride, all of this jealousy, throw it aside and face the call of God upon your life. If God gives you 10 members in your entire lifetime, serve them with all your heart and love them with everything you have. Don't manipulate people for money. No. It is better to serve them sincerely and make a call and say there is a cost that is worthy. When people see you a man of integrity, they will stand by you and support you. Are we together? Men of God, let me encourage you as a final word. Be up in teaching the truth do not be lazy sit down and study scripture don't be looking for ministerial doors sit down where god called you and serve him in sincerity don't be carried away that just because god has granted some of us the privilege to be everywhere you see all of us everywhere from one meeting it is not the proof of success in ministry it is only the privilege that god has granted i'm saying this thank god i'm the one saying it you have to learn it so that you do not use these mundane parameters to measure success in ministry. Some of you started doing well until you started looking up to certain people and models. And then you veered off from the path God created because you are trying to get a semblance of success. The truth is, if you walk with God, you will not be small. He will lift you and give you visibility. But until then, be faithful where he's, fine, where he's planted you. Prayer groups, be faithful. Petty prides, campus ministries, be faithful. Don't go around and say, I am a... Uh, 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 uh. And let me give you one caution. Do not criticize fathers. I repeat, don't join the narrative and the immaturity in the body. Do not criticize fathers. It does not matter what you see or do not see. At best, pray for them. And then, my final word, love the body of Christ. Don't be the one pointing hands at a pastor, a church, a ministry. They don't have revelation. They don't pray or they pray too much. They don't fast or they fast too much. This one's God does. They don't even have anything. You see a man of God who has served God for many years in your land. And you come and say, I have Greek and Hebrew, especially some of us, the young men that are coming up. Be careful. Do not allow knowledge bring pride. Just because you fasted for 40 days and you read books and you watched videos of joshua selman do not carry that pride and insult your pastor and bully him while he's teaching you are just laughing and saying i pity this man look at the nonsense he's sharing no you must have the humility of heart to receive when he says lift up your hands lift up your hands in humility it is proof that you are growing when you show faithfulness like that then you qualify jesus excelled on earth because he never called himself father Jesus called himself son. If he called himself father, the power would not flow to him. He humbled himself to become a son. 
and acknowledge an authority over him. Is this a deliverance for someone now? So that you don't come here with all that pressure. Oh, I'm a man of God. No. Some of you are more conscious of protocol. You see some of these people who stand by us. And when I'm going out, people just follow. And I must be like that. Uh -uh. Adopt the passion, not the ceremony around. It is your love for God and your sincere grace for God. I can tell you this by the God of heaven. And I say it because you are my family and I love you. None of these things you see, these tokens of honor none of them has sustained the ability to move me god took me from nothing to what i am today i still remember what he has done you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me you look beyond me hallelujah Asaba, make sure you grow correctly Take this message back to your campuses, your non-denominational meetings, run away from pride. When you see men of God who stand and make it look like we are the only ones God is using is a lie. Don't make the mistake of Elijah. There are 7,000 others. Just because you do not see them does not mean they are not there. That was the mistake of men like William Branham. That was a mistake of men like Alexander the Way. They were great men, I meant to say Alexander the Way. At that time, they didn't have access to internet to know what God is doing at the other side of the world. There are many great people today in the West who never knew that there was also a move of God in Africa. There are people who never made God's generals, but these were people who had encounters. Nobody could record it. The moment you think you are the only one God is using, that is already an attack. The moment you say, oh, Joshua Selman, you know, people send me text messages and they say, Apostle, you are the only man of God I really believe in this country. You are the rising star. And I say, oh, dear, you see what this is. I know he's been sincere, but is that true? That could be such a lie. I would be stupid to believe that kind of lie. I'm only a privileged vessel among the many that God is raising. And I tell you, there are finer brands that are coming out of us. You have not yet seen them on TV. You have not yet seen them. They are more than the Joshua Selmans. They don't have a name yet. Nobody knows them. They are still hiding and being walked upon. So that where we were limited, they are learning from our own mistakes. Are we learning now? If there is anything I want you to fight in your life, this night is pride. You are a man of God in ministry. Go back and repent. All this blowing of trumpets, all this this, this rubbish, you will, you will grow old and be tired and leave it there. Our fathers did all these things and today they have all you will be tired. Let people learn God properly when they look at you. Your humility is also a message, not just your Greek and Hebrew. Are we together now? And Pastor Ike, I encourage you and your dear wife, continue to remain humble. I love them. He's my son, she's my daughter, but I love them. My idea of fatherhood is not usurping on people. It's the privilege of providing a platform for people to be able to excel. And you cannot imagine how proud and happy seeing what God is already doing in their lives. And I can tell you, what looks like a convention today is how your normal meetings will eventually grow to be. A lion does not give birth to a cat. An elephant does not give birth to a rat. The Bible says you give birth after your kind. Stretch your hands towards your pastor and his dear wife. Please pray for them. Their blessed parents are here. I love them. I can tell you they love Jesus with all their hearts. Go ahead and pray. Pray everything you want to pray for yourself. Bless them, oh God. Let them be sound and accurate in word and in doctrine. Bless them. Pray for Chichi grace upon her to be a wife, a mother and a minister as she remains a model to the women within the land. Pray for Pastor Ike and the in-gathering team. Please pray for them. May God continue to multiply their influence in Asaba. May they continue to serve the purposes of the kingdom with integrity and truth. They may have personal concerns. Pray for them that in the name of Jesus, God will raise financial pillars. God will raise prayer pillars that they will remain men and women of impeccable character. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I bless you. You have honored me. May the Lord bless you. I'm going to lay my hands on them and it's an impartation for a fresh grace. It is not some show when we do these things. No, no, no. It is God's authorized principles of transference. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. They have honored me alongside all who have come here. I have always enjoyed honor and love in the entire Asaba. And let me use the opportunity to tell all the fathers of faith, the veterans of the gospel, I love you and I appreciate the honor that you accord me every time the Lord brings me here. I do not take your love and your generosity for granted. And I pray that God will together keep lifting us as a spiritual family. I, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May this grace come upon you and turn you into another man. The grace for influence, multiplied presence, access to help us. That fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, that fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and I prophesy. Take that fire right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone who fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus, the horn of glory and honor upon your life, may it continually be multiplied. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the wife. You will keep being a faithful helper standing by him. In the name of Jesus, their marriage will not fail. Their lives will not fail. We declare their children blessed. Oh, by the way, the children are here, yeah? Are your children here? Where are they? Come, come, quickly, quickly, my dear ones, come. Let's celebrate them. I know our time is gone, but let me, let me just lay my hands quickly on them. Please, please, let's, let's hurry up with them, quickly, help them. Can you bless this family? While they are on their way coming, let me prophesy Psalm 112 to them. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible declares that his seed shall be mighty upon earth. It says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Then it says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. I want to pray for them. May his favor be upon you in a thousand generations. His favor. His favor be upon you in a thousand generations. In your family, in your children, in your children, in your children. Amen. Amen. name it will be like the princes in the palace in the name of Jesus may the Lord bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit we pray for these our precious children in the name of Jesus they are proper children therefore we decree and declare that they grow according to Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 they increase in wisdom they increase in stature and they increase in favor before God and men in the name of Jesus may the women be like Esther and Deborah May the men be like David. May they be like Samson. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. The spirit of rebellion is far from them. This family remains a model family even here in Asaba. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. Let's give them a big God bless you. Finally, let me speak over the territory of Asaba. Praise the Lord. Now, Pastor Ike has particularly pleaded with me that I shouldn't round up without speaking against two spirits that seem to be having a toll on the young people in this place. Number one is prostitution and number two is fraudulent activities. Am I right on that? Can we agree? We are the church, the light of the world. Is that true? There is no reason why a woman should give birth to her daughter and she becomes a prostitute wasting away a precious destiny. 
and there is no way the gentlemen some of them may not want to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and fraud is something that is becoming a global problem it's almost becoming a sociological pandemic young people will not sit down to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity the obsession to show that i'm making it in the name of jesus we agree as the church of the lord jesus the spirit that found his way to asaba making sincere people to become prostitutes and making visionary young men to turn into fraudsters we banish that spirit right now we close the gates of asaba over these twin spirits we decree and declare that the young men and women in this place are people who are morally excellent in the name of jesus we declare that the young men and women in this city become visionary men and women in the name of jesus the spirit of fraud internet fraud and all kinds of 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 um all kinds of of manipulations over the destinies of men stealing money from atms and all kinds of demonic things all those who perpetuate this in this state we open the spiritual gates of this city and we close the dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye